For the following exercise, evaluate the function f at the indicated values, f of negative 3. All right, so let's take a look at that first. So we have a bunch of steps down here, right, on the uh, left-hand side that we're going to follow. And in order to um, evaluate this function at this indicated value, the first thing is to take the indicated value of f of x and just plug it in for f of x. Okay, so that's going to be the first step. So what I'm going to do first, though, because I'm very particular, is that I'm going to rewrite this function. So we see everything done all in one spot. So this is divided by 5x plus 2. So the first thing is for f of x, I'm now going to plug in f of negative 3. That's the first step. The second step then is to, as we identified down here on the bottom left, is to then substitute all the x values on the right-hand side for the indicated value of x on the left-hand side, which is negative 3. All right, so this is now 6 multiplied by negative 3 minus 1 all over 5 times negative 3 plus 2. And we're done, right? I mean, all we have to do is now simplify. Okay, we're done with the harder part, I guess. Right, the harder part is just, I mean, it's not even hard, right? It's just gotta, we just gotta substitute it. So this is negative 18 minus 1, all divided by negative 15 plus 2. And simplifying it, right, f of negative 3 will then be, the top will be negative 19, negative 19 all over negative 13. And we can make that then positive. So I'm just going to, let me just get rid of the two negative signs, okay? Let me just make it positive. And that is our answer. Let's do it for number two. Okay, so number two now, again, rewrite it. So f of x is equal to 6x minus 1 all over 5x plus 2. Now they want us to evaluate it at f of 2. No worries. So f of 2, we substitute f of x for now f of 2. And everywhere on the right-hand side, now you're going to plug in a 2. So 5 times 2 plus 2. We're going to simplify. All right, so this is 12 minus 1 all over 10 plus 2, and this looks like it's going to be 11 over 12. Great. Let's do number 3. So number 3 again, rewrite the formula. 6x oops, minus 1 all over 5x plus 2. Now they want us to evaluate it at f of negative a. Hmm. f of negative a. Don't worry, it's just the same process as if you had or were working with a value, okay, a number. It's just a letter in this case. But who cares? The process is the same. So this is 6 multiplied by negative a minus 1 all over 5 times negative a plus 2. And you're going to simplify if you can. All right, so we're just going to, so this is going to be negative 6a minus 1 all over then. This is negative 5a plus 2. And that's it. Okay, this is all I can really simplify. So that takes care of number three. Why don't we look at number four now? So number four, again, rewrite it. So f of x is equal to 6x minus 1 all over 5x plus 2. And here we're now evaluating at negative f of a. So here we have f of now, oops, excuse me. So negative f okay, of something. Now I'm just going to start with the negative part first. What they want us to do is they want us to find, or they want us to negate this function, right? They want us to find the negative of this. So if I want to find the overall negative of this thing, and this thing is equal to this thing, that means I want to find the overall negative of this thing, right? So my first thing that I'm going to do, <laughs> a lot of things there, the first thing I'm going to do is just plug in a negative sign and put a big bracket because I want to find the overall negative of this function, okay? The next thing I do is then plug in my indicated x value. So they wanted it, they wanted us to find it for a. So now the process is identical, right, to what we've done. So this is just 6 times a, substitute out x for a, over 5 times a, plus 2, right? And just making it a little nicer, even though we're pretty much done there, it's just now going to be uh, negative 6a minus 1 all over 5a, 5a plus 2. And that takes care of that. That's what, that's the answer for number 4. And let's now look at the last one, number 5. 
Again, rewrite the function. So this is f of x is equal to 6x minus 1 all over 5x uh, plus 2. Now they want us to evaluate it, out, evaluate it at f of a plus h. So no worries, right? Just now substitute out f of x for f of a plus h. And remember, whatever was in this parenthesis is what we are going to substitute x for, okay, on the right-hand side. So now this becomes 6 times a plus h minus 1 all over 5 times a plus h plus 2. Great. Now let's just simplify. So all we have to do, we're just following these steps right down here at the bottom left, guys. All right? Trust the process. So all we have to do is simplify. So I'll distribute. I mean, we really don't even have to. This is pretty simplified. But we'll just distribute the 6 and the 5. So this is 6a plus 6h minus 1. All over then we have 5a plus 5h plus 2. And that is that. Voila. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and we'll see you next time. Take care.